How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Welcome back to the Friday Football Fever, the most in-depth high school football show this side of the Santa Cruz River. I'm Paul Cicala. And I'm David Kelly. And Paul, let's take this opportunity to remind everyone we've got all the scores from tonight's big matchups right below us on our ticker, sponsored by Toyota. And beyond the scores, let's go ahead and get back into the highlights. Douglas High School headed to Troya and the West Side. The boys from Cochise County were hoping to take down the Troya Chargers in a very explosive game on the opening kickoff. The ball is about to bounce around near the end zone and Malachi Ifong will pick it up and he will cut across the field and find a hole and he is gone. <laughs> Fast forward things a bit to fit more highlights in, but you get the picture. Troya leads 7-0 and off the ensuing kickoff. This time, Douglas High School is hoping to return the favor and Alex Corrales says, my turn. Corrales is gone with the win. Pew, pew, pew. And in the blink of an eye, the score is now 7-7. Alex Corrales of Douglas answered with his own kickoff return for a TD. Equally impressive. And after that, Choya's Ifan is at it again. Malachi breaking off. A little something, something. This game will go back and forth as the teams combined for eight touchdowns in the first half alone. What a night for Troya, the boys from Cochise County, as well as Douglas running back Emiliano Bertelli will also take it to the house. In the end, the boys from Cochise County hold on in a shootout against the Troya Chargers. Here's your final score. They end up winning by a touchdown. All right, the Siena High Bobcats were at 